Hi, I'm T.S. Kelso, the operator of Celestrack, and today I'd like to take a little bit of time to show you how we can compare the supplemental TLEs that we produce on Celestrack to the TLEs that we receive every day from the 18th Space Control Squadron. So we're going to start by going into the current data on the site and then clicking on the link for supplemental TLE data. And we're going to use the Starlink TLEs as an example of what we can see. So first, we're going to click on a new icon that we show here, which is a comparison uh, link. And so it will set up automatically a view in our PassViz tool that allows us to look at both Starlink TLE sets together. So if we click on this link, we're going to come into uh, the PassViz view, and we're going to select our current position, and we'll say allow, and we'll come up on uh, the situation where we have all of the objects loaded, and we can see in the last column over here on the right that for each of the objects, we have a data source as either Celestrack or 18 Space Control Squadron. And so I want to start first by just looking at the home view to see where these things are in orbit. And so we can see right now all of the Starlink satellites that are up there. And because they're all operational satellites, they're all showing as green, which is the standard color for an operational or active satellite on Celestra. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to be able to color code and distinguish the object. So we're going to come over here on the left and click on this uh, label that says filter. And it'll basically give us access to the filters for all of the columns that are in the table. And so we just want to look at comparisons of active satellites. And so I'm going to come in here first and I'm going to uncheck dead and debris. And then I'm going to come down to the data source, which is the last one. And we're going to uncheck Celestrack so that we're just looking at the data for the 18th Space Control Squadron TLEs. And you can see now that's what we have on the screen. And so now I'm going to go to something new that we have, which is uh, the group setting. And we're going to add that filter as a group to what we're looking at. So we're going to click that button and we're going to give it a name and we're just going to call it 18 Space Control Squadron for now. And we'll hit enter. And when we do that, we can see that now there's a separate link down at the bottom for 18 Space Control Squadron. And so what I want to do here to make it obvious is we're going to change the color. We'll just pick orange for now and we'll save it. And you can see that all of those objects are colored orange in the view. And now I'm going to unload the filter so that we can see both the Celestrack and the 18 Space Control Squadron TLE sub, uh, simultaneously. So we'll close that. And, and you can see already that it makes it easy to see where the differences are. So if we zoom in, you can see that in some cases, the, the TLEs are fairly close together, and in other cases, they aren't. And if you click on individual objects, you can see what those objects are and how far apart they are. And so what we're going to do now is, is just look to see for the current Starlink mission. We'll see if we can find the train of objects, and that may have been, I guess that was it. I don't know, here it is. So we're going to find uh, the train of objects for the current launch, and we can see again how well those line up. And we're going to pick one of the 18 space control ones. So I'm going to turn this link off. We'll double click this link so that we can get a sense for how these things move relative to each other. And then, um, so now we're tracking Starlink 1168. And if we increase the animation speed, we can see how these things move relative to each other. And just like we've seen in the past, 
uh, we expect that the green objects, remember these are the supplemental TLEs based on the 18, or I'm sorry, the SpaceX ephemeris that's provided to uh, us via space track. You can see how those, as they move to higher orbits are starting to drift backwards relative to the 18th Space Control Squadron TLEs. So we're gonna pause that and we can, we can do the same thing to see how that looks when we go into the pass -vis mode what, that we would typically look for. And so I'm going to do a filter and I'm gonna look at just the ones for the last launch, Starlink 4. And I'm going to look specifically for 1139, which is towards the front of that pack. And apparently I unclicked the, the filter there. And I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna click all passes. Now, the first time we click it, it's gonna go down to the uh, observer location and pick that. So that we realize that this is a, a bit of a bug in the way that the program operates and we're working on cleaning that up. And so we'll click all passes here. Another bug we have is you have to manually clear the filter here to see the passes. And so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna click at the beginning of this pass. And then we're gonna let it slowly animate over our location so that we can see where these objects are relative to each other. So if you have an opportunity to go out on a visible pass, you could actually do some measurements against the sky background to see cases where uh, if there was an object here, then it's probably the 18th data. If, it's, if there is no object there, then it's probably lining up with the uh, SpaceX data. And so that gives you a quick sense for what we can do here. And so we're working to make this a little bit cleaner process. Uh, we hope to have that out soon. The beta version is still a work in progress, but we know that it gives a lot of visibility and insight into what's going on in orbit. And we wanted to make sure that we had the ability to show this uh, for people that are interested. And so anytime you want to see this, obviously this is the data for February 9th, but anytime you go in, it's going to use the latest data from both our supplemental TLEs and from the 18th Space Control Squadron TLEs. So if you have any questions, be sure to let me know on Celestrack. And thanks for your time.